A dog surprised everyone by preventing people from taking his owner off of life support. They say that dogs are man's best friends, and this story proves just how true that is. Michael had worked as a police officer in the canine unit all of his life. He was responsible for the training and handling of one of the police dogs in the force. He had quite a few canine partners in his career, but a German shepherd called Zeus was one with whom he formed a remarkable bond. When it came time for Michael to retire from the force, Zeus was only a year old, but the former police officer simply couldn't bear the thought of leaving without the canine. He asked his boss if there was any possible way that he could take the dog with him as he considered the animal as a member of his family. Thankfully, his boss agreed and allowed the man to take Zeus with him into retirement. Despite his strong name, Zeus was a meek and gentle puppy. He always preferred to have a cuddle instead of play fighting, and he simply loved being with his owner. At first, Michael's wife and children were a bit weary of allowing the dog into their home, as he had been trained as a police dog, which meant that he knew how to attack should the occasion call for it. But Michael reassured them and told them that he had trained the canine himself and that the dog would not harm anyone. As the dog got settled into his new home, the family quickly got used to him, and he soon became another loved member in the household. But then, something happened that made Zeus change his behavior completely. It was a couple of years after the canine was first brought home. He was roughly three years old and a fully mature adult dog at this time. The day started off like any other normal day. Zeus and Michael went on their morning run and then came back to have their breakfast. As they approached the house though, Michael noticed that the roof needed a bit of work done as it was looking a bit worn down. After his breakfast, Michael collected the tools that he would need to fix it and began to climb up onto the roof of the house. It was at this point that Zeus started to act strange. The dog began to bark and whine and even tried to hold onto Michael's trouser leg in an effort to get him to stay on the ground. Getting fed up, Michael called his wife and asked her to put the canine in the house as he wasn't letting the man work. Michael's wife did as she was asked and took the dog inside, however, he tried to resist all the way to the house. Not even five minutes later though, the family heard a terrible scream coming from the front garden. They quickly rushed out of the house, all except Zeus, who was locked in the kitchen, but what they found outside shocked them all. There, lying on the grass in front of the garden was Michael. He had fallen off of the roof and hit his head on the ground. Michael's wife began to cry and called out to him, however, the man did not react. Whilst she was doing this, the children called the emergency services for an ambulance. A short while later, Michael was rushed to the hospital, where he was placed into critical care and given extensive scans to see just how badly he was injured. Whilst the doctors found a few scrapes and bruises, including a broken arm, the thing that they were most worried about was Michael's head. His wife told them that he had hit his head on the ground quite hard, and they worried that this could have caused irreparable damage, and their fears were soon realized. Michael slipped into a coma, and nothing seemed to help wake him up. After Michael had been in the hospital for a while, his family decided to take him home and hire a nurse to check up on him, as they felt that a familiar environment might help the man wake up again. Once Michael was back home, the first one by his side was Zeus. The dog had been crying for days, sad that his owner was nowhere to be found. The canine quickly made his home at the end of Michael's bed and rarely left the area unless it was to be fed or to go relieve himself outside. Two years passed and there was still no sign that Michael was ever going to wake up. The cost of keeping him on the incubator and having a nurse look after him soon began to add up and his family began to despair over what they should do. The only one who stood by the man's side the entire time was Zeus. One day, a doctor went to check on Michael when he noticed something about the man. After a few more checks, the doctor realized that even though he couldn't move or speak, Michael could still feel what was happening around him. 
It was at this point that the doctors told the family that it might be for the best if Michael was humanely euthanized in order to put an end not only to his suffering, but to the family's as well. Michael's wife was devastated at this new information and didn't know what to do. Michael was the love of her life, and she had planned on spending the rest of their days together. Sadly, she accepted the idea that it might be better for the man if he was led to rest, and she agreed with the doctor's suggestion of euthanasia. The only problem was that Michael would have to be taken to the hospital in order for the process to be done. The doctor reassured Michael's wife and told her that he would send a team around the next day to take the man to the hospital. Whilst this was happening, Zeus sat in the corner and seemingly watched and listened to everything that was being said. The next day, when the paramedics arrived to collect Michael, something strange happened. As the paramedics began to enter Michael's room, Zeus began to bark and growl at them in an angry manner. He bared his teeth and clearly threatened to bite them if they tried to come any closer to the man. Terrified of the canine, the paramedics refused to enter the room until the dog was out of the way. Michael's daughter entered the room and forcefully removed Zeus, taking him outside so that he couldn't harm anyone. Once the dog was out of the way, the paramedics quickly got Michael into the ambulance and drove off to the hospital. As he saw the vehicle drive off, Zeus began to pull on his leash. He ended up pulling so hard that the daughter felt like she had no choice but to unleash him. Once free, the dog began sprinting down the street after the ambulance. Seeing the canine so worked up, Michael's wife began to wonder if the animal was trying to tell her something. The animal had gotten very upset before Michael had fallen from the roof and he was acting in the exact same way now. Worried that she might have made a terrible mistake, she got into her car and drove after the dog. Once she reached the hospital, she noticed Zeus running into the building. The dog quickly followed his nose and found the room where Michael was. The canine then charged into the hospital room only to see a doctor about to inject his owner with the euthanizing drug. The dog quickly pounced on the doctor, pushing him to the floor and causing him to drop the drug. The doctor cried out in terror and began to scream for someone to help get rid of the dog. Just as someone was about to try and remove the canine though, they all heard a sound that made them freeze. Michael's heart monitor began to pick up speed. Then they heard a quiet and raspy voice call out for them to leave the dog alone. With everybody too shocked to move, Zeus moved away from the doctor and over to Michael's bedside, his tail wagging the whole time. Michael's wife entered the room only to realize that her husband had finally woken up. She was overcome with joy and began to cry. It was a miracle, he was back. Once the initial shock had worn off, the doctor quickly got to his feet and began to check the man over to see if he truly was okay. Meanwhile, Michael's wife called her children to tell them the wonderful news. After a few weeks, Michael was finally released from the hospital and able to go home. Once he arrived, Zeus was the first one to greet him, jumping up and giving him lots of kisses. Michael chuckled and knelt down on the floor. He gave his dog a huge hug and lots of love. The man knew that if it weren't for the canine, he would no longer be around. The story just goes to show that sometimes all we need to do is listen to our pets as they know what's best. Let me know what you thought of the story in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more stories.